Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Please feel free to visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book and you can connect with me on other social media platforms. Please enjoy this sports medicine video. On today's episode of Dr. Ozella's Sports Medicine Report, I'm going to speak about target heart rate. Target heart rate is your desired heart rate, your beats per minute, while training for efficiency and safety purposes. Target heart rate is a gauge to keep you safe while you are building cardiovascular health and fitness. While you're training, you always want to take your pulse at regular intervals and once you know your target heart rate, and once you determine your pulse, you can adjust your intensity accordingly. When we speak about target heart rate, we have to find the maximum heart rate first of all, okay? So how you do that is you take your age and you subtract the age from the number 220. So if you're 50 years old, you would subtract 50 from 220 and you come up with 170. 170 then would be your maximum heart rate. If you are 20 years old, you would sub subtract 20 from the number 220, and that gives you 200. And for someone who is 20 years old, their maximum heart rate while training would be 200. Now we take the maximum heart rate number and we multiply it times 0.5 and times 0.8. That gives us the range of 50% to 80% of your maximum heart rate. And these numbers are your target heart rate. So obviously you gotta do some very simple math to figure out what your target heart rate is. So if someone is 50 years old, I already used that number, so we're gonna stick with the numbers of 50 and 20. If someone is 50 years old, again, we take the number 220 and we subtract 50. So we get 170. From there, we multiply 170 times 0.5, which gives us 50%, and that number is 85. So you want to have your training intensity, your heart rate per minute in that target heart rate of 85 beats per minute, which would be 50% of your maximum heart rate and then you take 80% of your maximum heart rate, which is again is 170 if you're 50 years old, and you wanna train between those two numbers. So 80% of the 170 is 136. So you wanna train between the number 85 and 136 if you are the age of 50. Whatever your age is, again, just subtract it from 220. That gives it the desired maximum heart rate while training and take the 50% to 80% and that is your target heart rate. So if you think about it, if someone is 20 years old, their maximum heart rate while training, we take 20, we subtract it from 220, so we get 200. From there, we multiply the 200 times 0.5, which gives us 100, and we multiply 200 times 0.8, which gives us 160. So we have the target heart rate of 100 to 160 for someone who is age 20. So again, this is a gauge for safety reasons and for efficiency reasons. So work within your desired heart rate. It's going to allow you to build cardiovascular fitness and health while keeping you safe. One more time, I'm gonna do the math for you, is you take 220 and you subtract your age. That gives you the, the desired maximum heart rate while training. And you take that number and you multiply it times 0.5 and then again times 0.8. So that is 50% to 80% of your maximum heart rate. That is your desired heart rate. Monitor your heart rate at regular intervals while you're training and adjust your intensity accordingly.
developing lifelong cardiovascular health and fitness is vital for any type of activity, but especially for sports. Keep yourself healthy, keep your heart strong. You're gonna be able to live a strong and active lifestyle. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Please feel free to like this video. If you have suggestions, feedback, or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you don't know how to take your pulse, you can view the other video that I did. I published it just last week where I explained how to take your pulse. Great information, going to help you a great deal when you are monitoring your target heart rate. Thank you again for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Again, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance, and Minimize Injuries. And always remember, train hard, train smart, stay injury-free, and accomplish your goals.